Right now, all hail the queen, Susan Lucci, the queen of Soul Bowl Yes! The woman who made all my children appointment TV, made me rearrange my college schedule to make oh sure goodness. I could back I'm in the so dorm room. We really heard that all that time. Thank you. Um, you know, the entire run of the show, and this is, we're just going to show one, one of the reasons why. So many shoes to fill, so many hats to wear family leader trying to keep all of you together, corporate titan, inspirational icon, and sober role model. <laughs> all of that and more. <laughs> we absolutely love it when you grace us with your presence here in the studio, Thank Susan. You so Thank much. you. Thank you. And there's so much to talk to you about, but we know Stroke Awareness Month is something that's very, very dear to you, and yes. close to your heart. Yes, it certainly is. May is Stroke Awareness Month, and I'm so proud to be have the opportunity to work with the American Stroke Association to raise awareness, uh, to raise awareness as to what what warning signs there are, and to to act fast so that if you recognize facial drooping, um, arm weakness or leg weakness for that matter, mm -hmm. speech problems with speech, then it's time. It's mm -hmm. time right away to call 911 and get treatment immediately. Um, speed is really of the essence when you're dealing with someone having a stroke. And um, I have an auction that has just just gone live that I, I have done, I'm doing, to um, hopefully raise some funding for research mm -hmm. uh, for the American Stroke Association and also to shine a light on what that research, I hope, having just gone through this and witnessed mm -hmm. uh, this with my husband, that um, hopefully some of the things could, could help that, that the research will discover. Yeah. How are you feeling now? I know you dealt with some heart issues. Thank you. I'm feeling fine. I feel fine. Um, something I will say is that I learned through my situation and, and now my husband's is the heart-brain connection. Mm -hmm. So that if you have high blood pressure, uh, you are more likely to have a stroke. If you have a diagnosis of AFib, which is what my husband had, although he never had any symptoms, he was going to get a pre-op to be, have his shoulder scoped from a, a ski injury when he was 19, and he wasn't supposed to keep on skiing because he had an injury, but he did. So, but then they couldn't do the scope, they couldn't do the surgery because they've discovered he had AFib. No symptoms, never affected our lives, mm -hmm. so that's the good news. The bad news is that if you have AFib, you are five times more likely to have a stroke. And if wow. you, and that's a lot, mm -hmm. five times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you have the stroke, you're twice as likely to pass away from it. Oh so these are things we're trying to avoid. And the, the quickness, the speediness of the treatment is imperative. And so my hope in, in raising funding for research is that we got to the hospital, they told me in record time, and that's fabulous. But I'm wondering, as the advocate, and I know so many people out there are advocates for the people that they love, uh, could they do even faster treatment? Could perhaps something be done by the EMTs in the ambulance? And part of me wonders, could there be something like an EpiPen? Like they mm. give EpiPens for even children carry them to school if they have an allergy. This, of course, would be to reverse the effects mm. of the stroke or try to s slow them down or to um, stop the effects of the blood thinners that often you are given if you are, have a heart issue um, to prevent clotting to the brain. But the double-edged sword is that the blood thinners can also uh, hurry the bleeding mm -hmm. into oh, the wow. brain that can yeah. then do the damage. Well, you did a PSA for, for stroke awareness, yes. and you talked about earlier you do have the auction where you're raising money and you donated some of your, your cherished items. So how do you figure out which what to donate to the auction? Oh, you know, Michael, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I have gone too far in some cases. <laughs> and, and handbags and shoes, they say, are the fastest and easiest things for women to buy because we don't have to go into the dressing room and all of that. But um, handbags especially, so there are a lot of accessories, uh, which is good because then they are not size uh, dependent, uh -huh. you know. Yeah. And um, so really, truly, I had done too much shopping therapy and uh, <laughs> rather than... Uh, <laughs> but I was looking at all those beautiful dresses. 
I don't see the one that you wore f when you won the Emmys. <laughs> what happened to that? Where, where's that? Well, um, actually, the Smithsonian asked me wow. if I would donate it to uh, to them, mm -hmm. and I would have, but it was lost. I I couldn't. What? Yeah, I put it away for safekeeping, but <laughs> way too safely, I could not locate it. Um, but the next morning after I won the Emmy, mm -hmm. um, I appeared on the cover of People magazine in in another gown. And that's the gown okay. that's in the uh, right. Smithsonian. Do you miss Erica Kane? Oh, yes. Yes, what a great part she was. Mm -hmm. Agnes Nixon created this incredible part for uh, an actress to sink her teeth into. And you know what? It was really a plus to do five shows a week. It was you know, very challenging, of course, but the possibilities <laughs> were phenomenal. But notice how she did that. I know. Notice how she did that. <laughs> I know the slap. The, I know. I know. I know. Backhanded, <laughs> backhanded slap right there. I have a feeling I'm going to feel that in a minute. But I want to ask you a quick little, uh, put you to the test. Uh oh. Uh -oh. A little, little, little all my children test, okay? Here are three actors. Tell us who did not appear on the show Sarah Michelle Geller, Sarah Jessica Parker, or Michael B. Jordan. Who did not appear on the show? Sarah Jessica Parker. You got it. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> Why do we even we waste our time on that? <laughs> really? and, and you are known for the slap. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. You can dish that slap out. I'm here to teach. You can teach me how to how to do the. Can you teach me how to do sure. the fake slap? Um, yeah. I would just say to begin with, you know, it's, it's a scene. A slap is part of a scene. And B. H. Barry. <laughs> how dare you? Yeah. You <laughs> see. B. H. Barry, um, the fabulous state. He's actually just did the uh, did Kamala. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a brilliant guy. But anyway, we were lucky. So he would say the intention. You know, what is your intention? Why are you going to do this to this person? Ooh. And you have to sell it, and I have to sell it. And the camera has to be at a certain angle. Which is so that you don't see me make contact because I'm not going to. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't be afraid. It's only going to look scary. Do I have to slap my hand underneath like when you're a kid, you hit your leg or something? I think they do that in the editing. I think that they, they did okay, that. But you could do that. You could, that would be very effective now. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, and also, so you do a wind up, obviously, because you're really mad. Yeah. And yeah, I, I, I'm going to slap you. Are you really mad? Or are you going to slap me? I, no, I'm you're not. You're just mad in the I'm, scene. Yes, We're I'm fighting. Just mad and yes. I cannot believe you. Hey, this to me. And I can't believe you say this to me. You, and I'm gonna why would you ever do this to me because, and my family? Because you stink. <laughs> <laughs> Life is now made. I retire. <laughs> I think mine too. <laughs> you know, both deserve it. You both thing deserve it. Barry always said is you, the other things you need. So you follow through, but following through also means not just the slap, but the thought process. Like, uh oh, you know, is he going to hit me back? What's going to happen now? So, there's, there's a lot of Which stuff I would going never. on. I would never. No. But you did give some guys here some ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Or is she going to be Susan Lucia, Fantastic. thank you, thank you, thank you again for what you're doing, mm -hmm. the PSA, the auction. You're making a difference. You're yes. making a difference. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. GMA fans, Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.